गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट चैप्टर 9 एल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन एंड एलिमेंट्री की एक्सरसाइज 9.1 फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज ऑफ चैप्टर 9 इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन दिस एक्सरसाइज इज आइडेंटिफाई द टर्म्स देयर कोफिशिएंट फॉर ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग व्हाट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दी टर्म्स टर्म्स मींस जस्टली आई आई टोल्ड यू व्हाट आर टर्म्स Their coefficient and what is coefficient also? Okay, we have to identify from this. So first question is five x minus x square minus c z bar. First I will write down the terms and after that I will write down the coefficient here. So here the term and the coefficient for the term. What how many terms are there? First is this and the second one is this term. So for the term one, what I can write down? Five x y z square. Five x y z square. This is term one. And another, what is the next term here? The next term is minus c z bar. You have to consider the sign. Okay? If you get me, many of the students they will. Leave this sign and then write down c z bar. No, in terms you have to consider the sign. Similarly, if I this is term two, this is term one, this is term two. Okay. Similarly, in this question we have to find out the coefficient. So yesterday I told you what is coefficient. If I write two x square, what is the coefficient of x here? The coefficient of x is two. Okay. Similarly, I have to find out the coefficient of this term. So, in this x y z square, what is the coefficient of x y z? That is five. So, I am writing the coefficient is five. For second one, this is coefficient one. This is coefficient two. For second one, what is the coefficient of z bar? The coefficient of z bar is minus three. So, I am writing the as Minus three. Similar. In the second question, you are given with three minus p q plus q r minus r p. So from here, first we will write down the terms here. So this is the first term. This one is the second term. This one is the third term, and this one is the fourth term. So write down the terms. Term one is three. Term two is. I said you have to consider the sign also. That is minus p q and term three is q r. Term four is minus r p. And similarly, we have to find out the coefficient also. So coefficient one from here the coefficient is three. From here the coefficient is nothing is there. That means minus is so I can write down this as minus one. Coefficient three, nothing is there means one is there, so you write down this. Similarly for coefficient four, nothing is there but one is there, so minus one I will write down. This is minus one. Similarly in this question, how many terms are there? Means zero point three a. This is the first term here. Minus zero point six a b. This is the second term here. Plus 0.5b. This is the third term. So what is the term here? 0.3a minus 0.6ab. From here you will get 0.5b. Okay. So what you have to do? You have to write down the coefficient. So what is the coefficient of a here? That is 0.3. What is the coefficient of AB here? That is minus zero point six. Minus zero point six. Similarly, what is the coefficient of B here? That is zero point five. So in this question, you just you have to find out the terms and the coefficient. This is question number two. In this question, it is saying that classify the poly polynomial as Polynomial, binomial, and trinomial. Which polynomial does not fit any of this category? So, 
First you are given with this polynomial. From here you have to classify it. This is monomial, binomial, and trinomial. So let me revise what I have told you in the introduction video. First mono means one. That means one term will be uh, one one variable. One term will be here. Binomial means two. Okay. And similarly, trinomial means three. And more than a uh, three will come in polynomial. Okay. So from here we have to categorize. See. Here it is given x plus y. Here it is given as x plus y. From here, if you can see how many terms are there. This is first term and this is the second term. Okay, two terms are there. That means this will be m by m. Okay. This will be in binomial. Here you can see see thousand. Thousand is a single term. That means this will be in how many terms will be there? One. So it is in monomial. Mono means one. Similarly, here you are given with x plus x square plus x two plus x four. From here if you can see this is first, this is second, this is third. One, two, three, and this is four. And you know, if it is one, then it is polynomial. If it is by, then it is two. If it is trinomial, then it is three. But here you are getting more than three. Then more than three is which? It is a polynomial. Polynomial. And it does not. In any of the category. Okay. Similarly, here you are given with seven plus y plus y prime. That means how many terms? One, two, three. Three means it is prime. Three into y minus three y is two terms. That means it is prime. We have to add this is question number three. Add the following. Here the polynomials are given. We have to add them. So here it is given with a b minus b c, b c minus c a, and c a minus a b. So the solution for this is first we will write down a b minus b c. Okay. This is first term. Second, we have to add this. So you will write down. B C minus C again. You have to add random C A minus A B. Now first we open the bracket. This is A B. A B minus B C plus is there so to be plus B C plus into minus is minus into minus C A again plus into C A. Again, plus into minus is minus, and right now minus a b. Okay. Now from here, you have to cancel the term which is getting cancel out. This is plus a b is there. Plus a b and minus a b will be cancelled. So this term and this term will be cancelled. Similarly, plus b c and minus b c will be cancelled. This and this will be cancelled. Again, this is minus C A plus C A. So minus C A and plus C A will be cancelled. So the answer is B. This is in terms. Let me explain to you. In I will take minus one and plus one. So plus into minus is minus. Minus my uh, plus into minus is minus. So one minus one is B. This B process we have followed in the alphabet sort. So do so don't get confused. Okay, this is what was here. Plus a b minus a b. So plus a b and minus a b will get cancelled. Just like plus plus minus one and plus one is getting cancelled. In the first in the fourth question, it is saying subtract the following. You are given with this this number. You have to subtract from this number. In this question, we have to subtract four a minus seven a b plus three b plus twelve from Two a minus nine a b plus five b minus two from means also will take this number. So I'm writing two a minus nine a b plus five b minus three. So I'm going to subtract from 
this number. So write down subtraction sign here, then write down the thousand that way. But it is given, it is given 4a minus 7ab plus 3b plus 12. Okay, this is given. So what, what you have to do? First open the bracket. Here it is 12a minus 9ab plus 5b minus c. So if you multiply this minus this to be minus 4a minus minus into minus is plus here you will get plus 7ab minus minus plus. This is 7ab again plus into minus is minus this will be 3b minus into plus is minus this is 12. Now from here you have to subtract the like terms you know in the previous section, I have told you that if it is 12a, you can subtract it by a only, you cannot subtract it by b. I cannot write down 12b there. So, it is in subtraction and addition, it is done in like, like terms. So, from here, let us see. Here it is given 12a, and here it is given minus 4a. Okay? So, 12a minus 4a. So what after subtracting this is nothing is there that means plus there. So plus into minus is minus. 12 minus 4 will be 8. This is it. Therefore I can write down this as 8. Again this is minus 9 AB. I know it is given plus 7 AB. So minus into plus is minus. 9 minus 7 is 2. So, and final credit is it is minus of writing minus 2ab. Similarly, here you are given with 5b and 3b. Both the, both the coefficients are same. Ha. Both the variables are same, sorry. And here, what you have to do here, it is given 5b and 3b. Means these are like terms. So, what you will do? Plus and minus. So plus and minus is minus. 5 minus 3 is 2. When you write down 2 b. And sign of the digit is 5. In front of 5 plus is there. So writing here plus. Okay. Now what does it mean? Minus 3 and minus 12. So minus minus plus. That means 3 plus 12 is 15. This is 15. Sign of the digit that is 12 and in front of 12 minus sign is there so writing the minus sign. So what is the answer? 8a minus 2ab plus 2b minus 15 is the answer. In this portion you just need to see the like terms like this is 12a. I cannot subtract it by minus sign ab because both them are both of them are unlike terms. This can be only subtract and they are like terms like that by like 12a and more to minus 4 we were like terms so I can add or subtract when the number and the digits are in like terms.